So I just wanted to come on here and chat with you guys for a little bit. Just kind of share what's been on my mind, especially the past few days. I've been reading old journals from like 2019, 2020, 2021. And now that I'm in the space that I'm in, so different from the person that was writing in those journals. I'm like, fuck, I was going through it. And so it was just really cool to read that and be in a different place today. And it just really made me want to start journaling more often. I think it's important to realize that journaling is not about having great handwriting or making it all make sense. A lot of the pages in there, I'm like, I didn't even make sense to me. I can't even like read some of it because I would just like go in. And then, I mean, if I take my time, I can figure it out. I'm just so happy that... I wrote those, everything that I was going through and moving through and learning and healing that I put it down because it's so easy to, you know, just be here now. And sometimes we forget all of the healing that we have been doing and the growing that we have been doing. And we put so much pressure on ourselves. And so it's just nice to reflect and be like, damn, like I've actually been moving through a lot and just giving yourself a little bit more credit. 2022 taught me to stop looking for reasons as to why I'm not ready. The biggest thing for me is I had, and this is something I'm still kind of like moving through, is I have to stop making reasons for why I'm not ready. In order for me to live the life that I want to live, and that doesn't mean that I'm not grateful right now and I'm not happy where I am but you know there's goals in life and I have to begin to walk down that path. I feel like a lot of us we will start the journey in certain places or certain areas but we aren't really committing our entire selves to this journey and that's something that I recognized in myself. I'm like okay I'm only starting the parts that I'm ready for. And if you want it, you got to commit to all parts of the journey. I learned a lot about my ego this year. And, you know, my ego is going to tell me that I'm not ready. This is like in reference to just life, right? Like work, family, friends, hobbies, personal things, like whatever, whatever it is. The ego tells us that we're not ready. I need more gadgets or I need more experience or I need to buy this and I need that. And we come up with so many reasons, again, as to why we're not ready. It's so detrimental. And if you tell yourself you're not ready, our subconscious mind will hold on to that belief. This year taught me a lot about faith. And I had to learn to have faith in outcomes, in the outcome for the things that I can't see. So it just feels good to be in this space of like, I am ready, I'm ready to start. Um, Cause as I walk this journey, there are going to be more answers revealed to me and more resources because nothing is going to just come to me. That's not how it works. And I also had to learn that and I'm learning to just stop second guessing. I'm not even giving my reality a chance to lay down the bricks to my path. And it's brick by brick. Learning to let go of resistance. And I love this story that Abraham Hicks shares. When it's nighttime, you drive with your headlights on. And I'm not saying this verbatim, I'm gonna butcher it, but this is just like my version of her story. And so she's like, the headlights, on and it doesn't reveal the whole road ahead but it reveals just enough so you can keep going and I just really love that story um, because it's just like again like that faith revealing itself to you also I'm thinking about cutting my hair I'm very like one day I'm like absolutely not the next I'm like call and make the appointment and I just really don't know what to do because I want to grow my hair out, but then at the same time, um, I just feel like the texture of it, it looks better when it's short. So, and then I also feel cute in short hair, but I feel like sexy in long hair. I don't know. It's a whole thing. And then it's like 
with the new year i kind of want to chop it off as well because it's like fresh start that's what it like holds for me it's kind of symbolic for me but i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do <laughs> I just ordered my happy planner for 2023. It's the monthly layout and it's in the celestial design. It's so freaking cool. I just got home from work. I got stuff for tacos on my lunch break because I have a grocery order that I need to pick up tomorrow. So I just got a few things for dinner tonight. So I got chicken, cheese, salsa, tortillas, and oil. And the tacos that I'm making tonight are just like a quick and easy recipe. Um, so it's gonna take me like 15, 20 minutes to make. They're super, super easy and the kids love them. And yeah, it is so cold outside. And so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get dinner started now. I usually just get the rotisserie chicken and shred it, but they didn't have any, so I just got this chicken. It's already shredded, so it's kind of nice. It's gonna be even faster. So I'm just gonna heat this up, add the green chilies, and fry up some tortillas. Give this video a thumbs up before you go thank you so much for hanging out with me today and i will see you tomorrow for vlogmas day 13. doja is messing up my bed right now <laughs> what are you doing honey hmm?